Hey there, Aries. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. How are you? How's the family? I hope everybody's doing all right. This is just a general message. If it hits home for you, awesome. If not, it's just entertainment for you today, okay? Um, let's see. We're going to use the Grand Lux Tarot and then clarify with the Light Sears Tarot. Again, take it if it fits. Leave it if it don't. You may have to vice versa the roles, especially if you're cross-watching for another sign. Oh, wow. First card out, Aries. Death. All right. There is something huge that's shifting for you. A big, major change. Um, feels like the end of one thing, beginning of another. Kind of like when you walk away from one job and you work for a totally different, like you're not even going to be doing the same thing, right? Maybe you're going from food service to factory or, or something like that. This is, this is a big, huge, major change. This could also just be an ending, an absolute ending, meaning there's no going back, no second chances, right? <clears throat> I just heard no tag backs, no tea parties, no on again, off again, Relation shits, am I right? Let's see, Aries. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. I have the Sun and the King of Wands. Yeah, you see clearly the actions you need to take. You also see clearly um, the karmic actions that somebody else is taking. Holy cow, High Priestess. So we've got Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, and Leo. I think somebody else... You know, it doesn't even matter about somebody else. This is all about you, Aries. I think you are putting an end to something because you know there's something better and you might even know what that something is. You're just not telling people. You're keeping it to yourself, right? Because they don't need to know. That's your business. If the wrong person knows, they can try to throw a wrench in your plans, right? Some of you guys could have been dating somebody, find out there's a mistress or a, a mister, well, on the side, though. This is a hidden person. All right, so there could have been, um, if your partner was cheating on you, yes, they were sexual, ace of cups. There could even be, um, like, a pregnancy here. Somebody's trying to fight it, like, that's not my child or whatever. Yeah, the fool. They're gonna, they are. They are going to look like an absolute fool here in this situation. But you know what? That was the decision they made. And you are deciding to play this full energy as a clean slate, hit the reset button, no tag backs, no tea parties. Don't pass that shit back over here. I'm not playing hot potato with you, right? We're not playing hot potato. Your intuition is really strong right now with the high priestess sitting next to the ace of cups. Some of you guys knew this was happening before it actually presented itself. I also feel like this death energy is almost like something hasn't been working for some time. It's almost like something's been slowly falling apart. And you know that there's something you need to do. Something that you want to do. Not just need, but want to do. Right? Um, it's just really a matter of standing up for yourself. So there could have been somebody around you who's talking about, well, I just don't want to see you get hurt, get your hopes up only to be let down, or this is working for you, why, why mess with it and go for something better, because what if you don't get it and then you lose this too? So it just kind of feels like maybe there was some negative energy that you're kind of like, shoe fly, don't bother me, get that out of here. Death card, you just, you want no parts of it. You're like, forget all that business. I got better shit to do with my time, yo. Again, Scorpio, Pisces, and double Leo here. All right. <clears throat> there could have been love here. I do think you want love. You're definitely a leader. It's interesting. I'm getting a lot of different messages, you know. Some of you are single and you are making some very strong, intuitive moves. And you're standing your ground. And you have every right to. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Right now, your main goal is just working on your intuition. Those of you in a relationship, that shit's coming to an end real soon. Real soon. 
okay? Uh, a new relationship that could have been starting. You're paying very close attention to the fine details here, all right? You're going to take it nice and slow. You know there's a time for you to take the lead, but you also know there's a time to let this person take the lead and see how they move or see how they react to how you move. Is this really going to work or not? Nah? Right? I said no. Nah. I meant to say not. Somebody must say the word nah because I don't usually do that. Wow. Wow. King of Wands again. And the lovers. Yeah. It's like you want somebody that can love you in the way that you already love yourself. I feel a lot of you, if you are single, you're loving yourself in a way that you want a person to love you. Okay. And if somebody comes in and they don't love you the same that you love you, you already know that's not the person. That's not the person. Somebody is going to fit the bill and you know it because you have been treating yourself the way you want to be treated. Does that make sense? Let's start clarifying. Clarify death. Wow, the chariot in reverse. I just feel like... <laughs> Um, thou shall not move forward <laughs> straight up. Thou shall not move forward. Thou is not going any further, especially with that full card that we had at the bottom of the deck. Let's not forget about that, right? That's a big fat. Nope. Taking a new leap of faith in a new direction. Have nothing to do with this person, this group of people, this job, maybe even this, um, oh, what's the term? I'm just here. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing it anymore. Yep. 201. Sitting down, making some plans. Where do I want to go? Where do I want to go? How do I want to move forward? How do I want to get there? Where are my pit stops? Right? I feel like you're releasing some kind of an anchor. For a lot of you, I do feel like it's somebody else, but maybe... It's something within you that you're letting go of because you realize it's not helping you. It's not helping you, right? But the sun card, when you know where it is you want to go, boom, king of wands, you're taking action. And you're letting go of all everything that's stopping you from moving forward. Literally a dead halt, a dead stop, right? Some of you guys, there could actually be something that happens in traffic. Sunshiny day. On a nice sunshiny day, something happened in traffic. Y'all might be stepping up to help out. I do not think you're involved. I think you are a uh, spectator. You're watching it happen to somebody else. But you might be able to step up and help somehow. That is very specific. I feel like for one person here. Okay. But let's see what this King of Wands is about. Thank you. Oh, we got two. Five of Wands in reverse. Queen of Swords in reverse. Look at that. You're like, you know what? I'm going to rise above. The argument, the competition, the fighting, the nitpicking, I'm not fighting with you. I know you're lying, Queen of Swords reverse. I know you're lying. <gasps> that just came flying out of my hand. Oh, and it landed on camera, so you guys had to have seen it. Four of Cups. I'm sorry, um, Four of Swords to the Ace of Cups. Yeah, you know what you want and you're going to wait until you get it. And you're just going to meditate and work on yourself until then. Because if somebody's lying to you and they want you to compete, it, it straight up looks like someone wanted you to chase them. And you're like, bitch, I don't chase nobody. I don't even want people chasing me, let alone you wanting me to chase you. What? Somebody um, had the wrong idea. And I think they're, maybe they fucked around and found out, you know, you're not the one. But... Either way, you know somebody's lying. You know somebody's not being truthful. You know something's not going to happen. So you're just moving on. Yep, the devil. There it is. That negativity, that, that fucking anchor that's stopping you from receiving the new beginning or this leap of faith that you've always been meant to receive. Something really good is going to come from this ending. And it's like pedal to the metal. You are the F out of Dodge and you are going places. All right, so if there's something or somebody that's trying to hold you back, it's eviction day, guys. No matter what role this energy plays in your life, it's done. 
It's absolutely done. Um, the only thing I want to add to this message here, Aries, don't linger. I don't think you will. I think you're going to have so many good things to be paying attention to. I don't think you're going to be replaying this situation over and over. But there could be somebody here that maybe struggles with that. So please just try not to do that so that you can really, really move forward. All right. So we got Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, Leo, Capricorn, Libra, and Cancer. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. I hope this message helps who it needs to. I love you guys, and I will see you soon. Until next time, toodles. I'm just kidding. Stay beautiful. <laughs>